Hi. Welcome to Cooking Trials and Error with Linda and Dwight. I'm Linda and Dwight is behind the camera tonight. So what we're going to be making tonight is Mexican stuffed shells and we're going to start off with listing off the ingredients which Dwight will show you. We're going to start out with, and I'm doubling this recipe but I'm going to give you the single ingredient of the single uh, whatever. <laughs> um, start with four cups of uh, shredded chicken. We just bought a couple of rotisserie chickens and shredded them. Um, a can of black beans, drained and rinsed. Six green onions, diced. And then a half of a red pepper, green pepper, yellow pepper, and orange bell pepper. I don't like the green, so I just took red, yellow, and orange. And then you need to have three blocks of the cream cheese. I've got Philadelphia cream cheese here that's been sitting out at room temperature for a few hours. Um, a large can of the uh, Rotel tomatoes with green chilies. Some chicken broth. Uh, one tablespoon of cumin. And I got about four cups of uh, shredded, shredded cheddar cheese over here and a salsa of your choice. And in the back we have some pasta shells which we've already cooked and we've let cool. So how you begin putting this together is start with a large bowl with your shredded chicken and add your drain and rinsed black beans, your green onions, and your bell peppers. And I hope it all fits. I guess I should have grabbed a bigger bowl. But you're just going to stir all this together. And once you get it started mixing together, just kind of sprinkle your cumin seasoning. I just do it a little at a time, that way it gets mixed in. I'm cooking for about nine people, so I doubled the recipe. So I'm going to be mixing this up, and we'll come back in just a few minutes, and we'll start the second mixing. Okay, so what Dwight is showing you right now is I've gone ahead and I've mixed all the chicken with the peppers and onions and black beans, and gave it a good stir and put the cumin in. And so now we're going to, in a separate large dish, I have the, you'll, you're going to see six blocks of cream cheese here. The recipe calls for three, but I did double the recipe. So to the cream cheese, I'm going to add one cup of chicken broth. And you can use homemade chicken broth, but I just go with the good old Swanson chicken broth. It tastes great. And uh, whatever you like. I like the Rotel tomatoes. They have a nice little bite to them, but they're not too overly spicy. You don't want to drain this or anything. You just want to pour it straight in. This is a little bit more than I needed, so I'm going to... Uh, what the heck. I was going to leave a little out, but why not? Just put it all in. We're going to just mix this and stir it until it blends nice and pretty. So. Again, I'm going to come back later after I get all this mixed up. So, <laughs> one of the reasons why I didn't show you that me mixing the stuff, I had a hard time mixing it all together. And so, I thought, why not use that wonderful KitchenAid mixer that Dwight got me? And boy, it did a great job on the cream cheese and tomatoes. But I put it on a little bit too high and it started splattering this mixture everywhere. It was in my hair, it was all over my clothes. <laughs> and so we decided just not to show that part. And um, so what I'm doing now is I, normally I would put this in several, um, you know, 13 by 9 dishes. But I'm taking it to work and it has to fit in tiny little microwaves. So that's why you see several small containers here. I'm simply stuffing the um, shells with the mixture and inside of each one of these little casserole dishes I have um, a picante sauce. 
Um, I use the paste, chunky salsa, um, but you can use whatever your favorite is. And all you need to do, it's much easier with your fingers, trust me, my hands are clean. You just start stuffing these wonderful large pasta shells. Um, they're cooked al dente and then I just let them cool and I rinse them off because you know they kind of stuck together but they're working perfect now. And then you just start stuffing them. So once these are stuffed, you're going to cover the top of them with a little bit more picante sauce and then some shredded uh, cheddar cheese, which I've got about three different varieties here all mixed together just for flavor purposes. And it's what I had in the house. So saved a little bit of money there. Um, and then you're just going to bake it in the oven at 350 for about 30 minutes. So I'm going to continue stuffing these shells and we'll come back when I'm ready to put it in the oven. So I hope I don't have any mixture on my face or on my clothes and we'll come back to you in a few minutes. Okay, so what I have done is I have stuffed a whole lot of shells and they look really, really good. Dwight said it looked like a fruitcake his mother once made, but you know, I can't help what color it is. Um, so now I'm going to just take a little bit of uh, picante sauce and drizzle it over the top of the shells. And I'm not going to make you watch me do every one of them. But when you're done with that, then we'll just cover them with some cheese. And then we're going to bake them in the oven at 350 degrees. So come back as soon as it's done. So I'm just taking all the containers out of the oven. Since I had so many, I put them in for an extra five minutes or so. So, <laughs> while, uh, while these were in the oven, I was starting to wash the dishes over here to clean everything up. And I'm like, Dwight, Dwight, come help me do the dishes. And he's like, oh, come on, give me ten minutes. I'm playing my game on my iPad. And I thought, oh my gosh, we've been married for four years and almost five years now, and he's starting to sound just like me. <laughs> because usually he's doing the dishes and I'm playing my games on the iPad. So let's take the lids off. Oh boy, look at that. So hot and bubbly. I'm taking all the foil off because it's already almost 8.30 and I've got to let all this stuff cool before I can put it in the refrigerator. So I'm going to be up for a while. But that looks fantastic. I almost want to take one out and taste it to let you know how it tastes, but it's probably going to be too hot right now to eat. So after these cool down a bit, I'm going to put two on a plate, and Dwight and I are each going to eat one to make sure they're safe for the people we're feeding tomorrow. <laughs> and um, we'll get back with you on that to let you know how it tastes. Well, the kitchen's all clean while this was baking, and it baked for about 40 minutes. I left it for a few extra minutes because I had so many pans in the oven, but took it out. I've got the foil off, so I'm letting it cool before I can refrigerate it. And it smells wonderful. Dwight and I ate one shell um, to see how it tasted, and it tasted pretty good. I think next time, even though I doubled the recipe, I'll use a little bit less cream cheese because it does have a little bit of a, you know, too much cream cheese mixture in it, I think. Other than that, I think it tastes great. And I hope that you try the recipe and enjoy it.